What's up everyone? This is Panda. I'm live streaming on the GoPro while at the New Jean M truck station. Uh, my train won't arrive for another like five hours. So I checked out the hotel and now I'm just waiting. But it seems to be it was to be a good restaurant right across the street called Morning Glory Cafe. Not sure what that's about. But um yeah, let me take you on a tour, I guess. Uh I do have an ND filter on. I got an ND16 on. Alright, we are going to test this live stream. See how stable it is on my cell phone service. Since I'm in a good city, there's a lot of cell phone towers here. Okay, so this is an Amtrak station, apparently. Uh, I am looking, viewing through my phone. It seems to be running smoothly for the most part. Now, when's the last time you've seen one of these phone booths? <laughs> uh, I normally see them in Japan, but yeah, that's old school. Whoa, wow. That's a parking meter? It looks old school. But yeah, anyway, there's a cafe across the street. There's my stuff over there. Yeah, it's not gonna, no one's gonna dare take that. It's heavy. You'd be a maniac to try to take it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm watching this, I'm viewing this through my phone. So this looks pretty good. I'm, I have to use my hotspot. I can't use my cell phone service directly to it. So. Okay, it seems to be stable. Uh, there's a latency. There's maybe like a three second latency. So expect that to happen. But yeah, this is the train station. Yeah. And there's a building over there. Look at those blue clouds. Oh my panda. Look at that guys. Isn't that beautiful? That ND filter is gorgeous. This ND16 from the Tessin. Yeah, it is beautiful. I like it. I like that deep blue. And those contrast skies. Look at those contrast skies. Oh, beautiful. Guys, if you guys want to support the channel financially, because I'm going to need some food, some sustenance. Uh, please watch my review on the hotel that I was staying at. It's very important that you watch it. Because it is going to gross you the fuck out. <laughs> so, yeah. It seems to be running stable. But, nice blue contrast sky. There's a bar over here. I want to eat there. Okay. This guy was eating something that looked so good. It looked good vegetarian. But uh Yeah, this is the great hunt uh the M track. So apparently I was asking someone about the the Greyhound. They said there's no Greyhound service whatsoever. That's why everyone's taking the train. I wasn't gonna take the bus. Hell no. No way. But I just wanted to see, wanted to ask because normally the Amtrak trains are not that full. Because remember, when I went to Portland, it was empty. This is the the station. Nice, beautiful. You got benches, but like I said, the office hours are different. There's a history. Southern Pacific Road Depot. There's a history about this uh this station particularly. Constructed in 1908. Wow, that's a history. All right. Uh oh, I didn't do it. No, that's the medical center. There is a, a good medical center here. So, yeah, I would walk you guys around downtown, but I got my luggage with me and I checked out the hotel. So, unfortunately, I can't at this time. But. I feel like pulling out the gimbal for another thing, another project I want to do. But yeah, this is a pretty quiet 
little city. I don't know what sure what that is. It's, it's like some type of special monument or something. Jerry Garcia died. Oh wow. What is that? Okay. Not sure why Jerry Garcia's name is on this. Okay, there's some history. Someone left their mask. Look at that. Hey, pick up your mask. <laughs> yeah. Oh, looks nice, right? Yeah. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to test this out because, uh, yeah, it seems to be working. Yeah, there's a five second uh, latency delay now. Because I'm not near that, uh, I'm not doing that loop around that uh, monument over there. I just saw it on my phone. So there is a slight delay based on your service. But no smoking in the Amtrak train, you guys know that already. There's no one really inside. So, yeah. Other than that, it's a pretty peaceful uh, Wednesday morning for the most part. Tickets, restaurants are for ticket and track packages only. Yeah. So that hotel is, uh, I didn't say anything to the woman for the last couple of days because I wanted to make that review. But I, I wanted to emphasize guys, if you're going to stay at a clean uh, hospitality uh, business, I would recommend the high international hostel in. Hands down. You get a better price. Not only that, you get accommodations. Not not all high international hostel locations give you accommodations like the Portland or let's say the Madison or the Chicago. Free breakfast, free TV, free the entertainment. Every hostel is different. Some is either a house, some is property, some are buildings. Like in New York, they took that old high school and they rebuilt that into a, a one giant hostel. Now, if you guys remember, in New York City, the High International had three locations. One in Chelsea, one in Tribeca, and one in Soho. They put all three of those hostels together and to make that big one hostel in New York City. That's what that was about. I used to stay at the Chelsea and the Soho area one. That's why. It's one of my favorite spots. But um, yeah, in other words, just talking to you guys, but oh, actually, I should turn the camera around. I'm a bit smart, but yeah, uh, this is an easy It's some pretty damn good looking people out here, I have to say. Now, I was watching this video about Portland, and the guy got a lot of information right, but he kind of got some information wrong. And obviously, he hasn't been to Portland, but he's a YouTuber that just does some videos about going to these places. He does his research, but what he forgot to mention is Carfax and the vandalism and the burglaries that happen in Portland. This is why you don't want to live in Portland. Main reason why high taxes. The rent is sky high. Almost worse than California. California is about 33.3%. Uh, you can think it's what, 9.9? 9.8? High. Very high.